hope you're all doing very well today. Today we will be um, discussing controls for HODAS. HODAS as in hands on throttle and stick, basically joystick setup. Uh, most of you will probably be using this for sim I assume. Me personally I'm kind of known for using HODAS and RB, ARB. Just a preference feels natural to me. I've never used a mouse aim in my life for flying. For me, I may be somewhat biased because in real life I am a pilot. And personally, I don't feel uh, HODAS is a disadvantage. I can do stuff like this with a HODAS. So let's get started to the bindings that you'll need in order to fly and to fight successfully. So go into controls. First I'm going to show the throttle axis. In the throttle axis you're going to click auto detect axis and with your throttle you're going to move it forward and backward until it gets detected. Second, you're going to go into roll axis. You're going to move your stick to the left and to the right after pressing auto detect until it gets detected. For pitch axis, you will do the same back and forward. For me, I have my multiplier set at 0 0.85 just for pitch. The other stuff I have at 1, I have not touched it. For yaw axis, whether you have uh, rudder pedals or you have a twisting stick like I do, what you're going to do is the same thing, press auto detect, here is turning my stick to the left and then to the right, and you'll do the same or you'll use your rudder pedals left and right until it gets detected. For thrust vectoring for something like a Harrier, I have that personally assigned to a hat switch on my joystick. So what I do is um, forward at, as in for um, having the nozzles point to the back as in to fly forward and then down for it to go into the position for hovering or for biffing, whatever you uh, want to use it for specifically. A stick a lot of people use, and the one I'm going to use as an example for this video, is the Logitech 3D Pro. This is the stick that I use when I play War Thunder and any other flight game. This is a cheap stick can be had like about $35 and it will definitely get the job done it may not be the best stick but it's definitely good enough now as far as the bindings I was going over I'll point to the specific parts of the stick that I use for things like this slider right here I use this for the wing sweep all the way forward is the wings forward, all the way back is the wings back. Now, for other functions like the air brake, I use this button right here. For the flaps, I use this button right here. For focusing on a specific enemy, I use this button here. This button is my radar lock-on switch. This is the button I use to fire my missiles, my rockets, drop my bombs, etc. And the trigger I use for guns. 
This hat switch forward and back I used to control the thrust vectoring on the Harrier. But also the up button is landing gear for my other aircraft. Now for mechanization I have the wing sweep control mode assigned to the W uh, button. Wing sweep, I have it assigned to a specific slider on my joystick. And it's uh, the same. So basically, move forward and backward until it gets detected. I move it forward for wings all the way forward and back for the wing swept all the way back. For planes like the Tomcat, SC-22, MiG-23, anything with swing wings in game right now and in the future. This is the CH Products Pro Throttle. This is the throttle that I use when I play War Thunder. So the way I use this is this mini stick here is what I use for my view when flying. This hat switch specifically I press down to go into ACM mode and left to switch out of pulse doppler and normal radar uh, pulse mode. The other stuff I personally don't have binded, you can bind that to anything you want. And now for these buttons. This button on the front of it I use for flares. This button I use to switch weapons. From And this button I use for zoom. Now for camera control you're going to go into view in battle air X axis auto detect axis left and right with your mini stick and then you will do the same for the Y axis up and down. For a normal hat switch this will not work and using hat switch for view is um, problematic to say the least. Hopefully this tutorial helps you with your HODAS setup in War Thunder. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.